So you want to hear about the uh, Jacksonville experience with the team doc. Okay, so we're in Jacksonville. We're eating at Morton Steakhouse, which is right by the Hyatt Regency. And it's a sea of red in this hotel. Uh, so just quick shout out. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. So quick shout out to you. If you were there, if you would have made the trip, I would have definitely had a gray goose on rocks at Morton's for you. Oh, just so you know. All right. <laughs> All right. But uh, anyways, this guy is sitting with his daughter, like right across from our table, and he's real attentive. And the reason the girls that we were sitting with uh, just saw that and they were complimenting him about being a, a very attentive dad and everything else. So he starts talking with us and uh, he says he's a team doc from ATL. Well, if you remember my comments, I'm always talking about the trainers and uh, the soft tissue injuries, the setbacks. I pissed off your dad for making a comment one time with that uh, on your show. Tell him respectfully. I apologize to him about it. But, um, you know, I asked the, the That's guy. Because in, in, the, in the history, uh, there's been a lot of trainers who've gotten flack that didn't deserve it. Yeah. And he knows that. And he knows he's trainers. But Ben Peterson um, isn't one of them. Keep going. Yeah. So, you know, I asked him about, hey, the soft tissue injuries and everything else. And once he kind of noticed, because we were not wearing 49ers gear or anything like that, so he probably let his guard down. But once he found out that I was a 49er fan, he kind of got a little bit defensive, which why I think he's legit. Okay. So he was basically uh, saying that if it's multiple setbacks, you know, that's an issue. Um, if you notice, at the time of that game, they, were, they had a Thursday night game. Uh, ATL did. So that's why I'm speculating that he was there because Jacksonville is not too far from ATL to meet up with Kyle and uh, see if there and was Kyle a must know him, right? Kyle must know him. Yeah. So that was the other thing that I was going to bring up to you is that that's typical Kyle Shanahan is that he's going to bring in somebody who knows. He's not going to bring in someone that, you know, is renowned and, uh, you know, like that can fix his problem. Let me bring in somebody that I got a personal relationship yeah. To fix this problem, it's kind of Call notorious. Ricky, man. Call him Ricky. What's Ricky up to? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, so what you're telling me is the scapegoat this season is going to be Ben Peterson, and most likely they're going to bring in someone from the from the Atlanta days. Hey, that yeah. makes sense to me. I can see it well, happening. Well, he's not he's not a trainer, so he's a, he's a doctor, and but oh. uh, I forget the the person that you were speaking with uh, most. Of, it's not Vish, it's not uh, Jason, it's not the team coach, but uh, they always go on about the, the trainers and the team's physicalness, and she was talking about both uh, uh, the reverse one. Yes. Yeah, so she mentioned a very interesting point that it just bringing in a trainer isn't going to do the job, you know, because of the setbacks. They're going to have to kind of change the whole guard. Right. So that's where it makes sense that, all right, we're going to get a team doc, probably going to look at different trainers and everything else. It, it just kind of fits right now. Hey, it makes hey, you are a much better journalist than I am. Investigative voice ad agency. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate no, you. No that problem. No, See, I got you. You learned stuff at Morton's on a Saturday night. Saturday night? Night before the game? Was it Friday? Yeah, it was uh, Saturday yeah. night. See, mm -hmm. I'm, from now on, on the road, I'm going to Morton's and just kind of have like my little Groucho marks, like a little fake mustache and stuff, like the Humpty, but you know. <laughs> 